Event 1. People recognition. Our system can precisely recognize and follow the movement of people. If someone enters the monitoring range, the system will set off the alarm. When the person walks into the monitoring range, the system sets off the alarm. A person pushes the chair into the monitoring range, spins it, and then sits on it. Throughout the whole process, the system did not mistakenly identify the chair as person. Our system can precisely distinguish two persons who are close to each other. As you can see, person A approaches person B from one side, then approaches from the other side, and then walks to the front and the side of person B. During the whole process, the system can distinguish two persons. Event 2. Crossing the tripwire. Firstly, use the configuration tool to draw a tripwire and the designated direction of entry that should set off an alarm. When someone crosses a line from the designated direction, it sets off the alarm. With 2D recognition method, crosswire detection is based on the pixel change of the line. As you can see, when the person moves on one side of the guard line, his body will block part of the line. With 2D recognition method, this condition will trigger the alarm. However, our system adopts the 3D vision recognition method. Therefore, this kind of false alarm won't happen. When the person crosses the tripwire, it sets off the alarm immediately. If the person crosses the tripwire with one leg and pulls back, it still sets off the alarm. When the person runs across the tripwire, the alarm goes off. Event 3. Invading an area. Firstly, use the configuration tool to set the designated area. If someone enters this area, the system will set off the alarm. With 2D recognition method, intrusion detection is based on the change of pixels. When the person only moves around the designated area, as you can see, part of his body is already in the area from the view of 2D image, so this condition will trigger the alarm. However, our system adopts 3D vision recognition method, therefore only when the person enters the area will the alarm be triggered. When the person enters the area from one side, the system sets off the alarm. No matter from which side the person enters the area, the system will precisely set off the alarm. When the person walks through the area, it sets off the alarm. When the person runs through the area, it also sets off the alarm. Event 4. Abnormal number of people. Firstly, use the configuration tool to set the designated area, then set the allowed range of people within the area. Here, we put it 2 to 3 persons. So when there are more than 3 persons or less than 2 persons, it will set off the alarm. In this scene, there are 2 persons sitting in the set area. The girl left, there's only one person in the area, and the alarm goes off. Now we reset the allowed range of persons in the area to 0 to 1. If there are more than one person, an alarm goes off. Now there's no one in the area, which is normal. Then a person walks in, no alarm is triggered. Then a girl walks in the area, there's more than one person in the area, and alarm goes off. Event 5. Falling. Vicious violence incidents usually cause injury with people falling to the ground. When there is someone falling to the ground, the alarm goes off. If the person falls down horizontally, the alarm goes off. If the person falls down vertically, the alarm goes off. If the person falls down along the table, the alarm goes off. Besides the single person scene, the alarm is set off precisely when there are several persons. If the person falls down in the crowd, the alarm rings. Event 6. Moving too fast. In many vicious events, such as robbery and terrorist attack, you'll find people running really fast. When this kind of phenomenon occurs, it will set off the alarm. When the person runs in the scene, the alarm goes off. The following is a real case in life. A person is withdrawing money at an ATM. Suddenly, someone robs his wallet and rushes away. The alarm goes off. Event 7. Overcrowding. 
When the number of people inside exceeds threshold, which indicates potential safety risks, the alarm sets off. The threshold of people allowed can be set. In this demo, we set it at five. If there are more than five persons in the scene, the alarm goes off. As you can see, there are six people entering the scene one by one. The first five people didn't trigger the alarm. When the sixth person walks in, the alarm goes off. Event eight: path is too long. If someone keeps walking back and forth within sight and travels too long, which may indicate a vicious intent, the system will ring the alarm. The threshold of walking range can be set. In this demo, we set it at ten meters. When the person walks for more than ten meters, the alarm goes off. As we can see. The person wanders in the scene and walks for more than 10 meters. The alarm goes off. Event nine: lingering for too long. When someone lingers for too long in the scene, he may be looking for opportunities to commit a crime. The system will ring the alarm. The threshold of dwell time can be set. In this demo, we set it at 30 seconds. If someone lingers for more than 30 seconds, the alarm goes off. As you can see, the person lingers in the scene for more than 30 seconds. The alarm goes off. Event ten: abnormal nighttime approaching. At night in the ATM room, if one person gets too close to another, it may be a warning sign of a possible robbery. An alarm will be set off. As you can see, a person is withdrawing money from the ATM. Another person is approaching discreetly. The alarm goes off when two persons enters ATM as couple, which is abnormal. The alarm won't go off. Event eleven, adding cash alone. The operational regulation of the bank requires two persons present when adding cash to the ATM. If there is only one person, the alarm goes off. Firstly, use the configuration tool to mark the door of the cash cabinet. In the demo, if two persons are adding cash together, the alarm won't go off. When the operation ends and the door remains open, the alarm goes off. If someone blocks the door, it won't trigger the alarm. When there is only one person adding cash in the scene, which violates the regulation, the alarm goes off. If there is no one in the scene but the door remains open, the alarm goes off. Event twelve: abnormal state of camera. Criminals may move or cover the sensor before they commit a crime. When sensor is in abnormal state, it's highly possible that a crime will take place. Therefore, if the scene turns dark suddenly, the alarm goes off. If someone blocks the scene with a photo of the room, the alarm also goes off. If the camera is moved, the alarm goes off. Event thirteen: object moved. If the monitored object is moved, the system will ring the alarm. Firstly, use the configuration tool to mark the objects which need to be monitored. When the object is moved, the alarm goes off. Further introduction: Demo in the dark scene. Even in the dark, our system can work normally. The system can still detect and track humans in the dark. A person is walking in the scene. Turns off the light. The tracking circle can still follow the person precisely. The person falls down. The alarm goes off. The person runs in the scene. The alarm goes off. Next is a case of adding cash alone in the darkness. A person walks into the monitoring range. Then open the door of the cash cabinet. The alarm goes off. 